Good morning. 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 So, is it okay to visit you at work? That would be lovely. I can show you the new scarf collection. Oh, are there any left? You didn't buy them all? Oh, don't be silly. I only have three or four. Is Churchill's a very big store? Yes, it's uh, huge. It's one of the oldest in London. Oh. It's got five floors. And anyway, I'd be crazy not to use my staff discount. Of course, <laughs> you would. Do you have a break in the afternoon? I have a tea break at three. Why don't you come a half hour before? Two thirty? Yes, and I can show you around my department. Where is the ladies' department? On the fourth floor. Just take the lift mm -hmm. and walk through children's wear. Okay. Can I buy you a cup of tea? Oh yes. Let's go to Churchill's tea room in the basement. We have the yummiest cream cakes. Mm. Mm -hmm. What else do they sell in Churchill's? Perfume, jewelry, menswear. We've got household goods and electronical appliances, books and toys. There's a large furniture selection on the top floor, and we also carry electronic equipment. <laughs> well, uh, ladies, have a nice day. Thanks, you too. Wait, is today Tuesday? Yes, it is. Oh, dear, I have to be at work early today. Mr. James asked me to help out in the children's shoe department. Good. I need to buy some children's shoes. Who for? My niece, Mercedes. How old is she? She's 12. Uh-huh. And what size shoe does she take? Um, she's a Spanish 36. I think that's a three here. Okay. Oh, that will be fun to choose shoes for her. Mm -hmm. What colors does Maria like? Mercedes wears a lot of pink. Pink? Oh, she's still a little girl. Agatha, you need to be at work early today, don't oh, you? Yes, I must go. <laughs> okay. Bye, I'll see you later. Oh, hi. Sorry. I had to buy some presents, so I went shopping in a big department store. Are you ready? Fine. Let's get down to work. Today we'll talk about the verb form will, its contracted forms, and its unusual negative form. I will be your teacher for some more lessons. It'll be fun, won't it? After that, we'll learn about the various departments in a big store and how to ask for directions. Excuse me, oh, where is the jewelry department? Finally, we'll see a short dialogue about buying shoes for a child. In this episode, Agatha tells Eleanor that Mr. James needs her to help in the children's department. Eleanor says that she needs to buy, do you remember what? A pair of shoes for her niece. Perfect. It will be fun to choose shoes for her, says Agatha. Along with it will be fun, you can say it will be interesting, it will be exciting, it will be useful. Now, let's look at the verb form will. Will is used for what is going to happen in the future. The conjugation is I will be, you will be, he, she, it will be, we will be, you will be, they will be. The contracted forms are I'll be, you'll be, He'll be, she'll be, it'll be, we'll be, you'll be, they'll be. The negative form is I will not be, you will not be. But be careful, the contracted form of will not is I won't be, you won't be. He, she, it won't be. All right, let's practice with some examples. Will Agatha be at work today? 
Yes, she will. Will Elena visit her early in the morning? No, she won't. Will you study hard? Of course you will. As you have seen, to create the interrogative, you invert the subject and the verb. You will study hard becomes will you study hard. Now, something completely different. Elena asks, where is the ladies department? Some department stores are really big, like the one where Agatha works. So it's useful to know how to ask directions. Let's see some examples. Where is the children's department? Where is the men's department? Can you think of other departments? <laughs> sure. Stationery. Books. Accessories. Food. And so on. Right. Here are some questions that you might ask. Excuse me, I'm looking for children's shoes. I'm looking for the toy department. Now, let's see a short dialogue between a shop assistant and a customer. Uh, good morning, how can I help you? I'm looking for children's shoes. Uh, how old is the child? Uh, he's 10. What's his size? Uh, size 7. What colors does he like? Red and blue. <laughs> Here you are. Thank you, they're beautiful. But how much are they? Fifty-five pounds. Okay, I'll take them. Now you're ready to go shopping and I'm ready to go. See you next time. Bye. Are you okay, Agatha? What's wrong, Aggie? Mr. James says I'm always late. Oh. Mr. James says I'm always shopping. Oh, no. Mr. James says I don't take care of the customers. Mr. James says I should look for another job. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Agatha. Don't worry, it, it's okay. I'm so unhappy. Why don't you call Harold? Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Why don't you visit Harold? <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps you could meet him at Oxford. I don't like Oxford. All those nasty students. Maybe you two can meet somewhere for the weekend. Oh, the weekend? Mm-hmm. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to go? I've always wanted to see the Isle of Wight. Let me call my travel agent. Yes! Yes. Do so. Good afternoon. Can you suggest a nice hotel on the Isle of Wight? Agatha, do you want three star or four star? Oh, I don't need much. Mm -hmm. As long as they have a nice view. Yes, that's fine. I'd like to book a double room for two, arriving Friday evening and checking out on Sunday. Perfect. Oh, and Harold will need internet access. And I definitely want a hotel with a spa. Does the Solent Star Hotel have a spa? Okay, fine, perfect. I'd like to take a nice tour on Sunday. Do they have a tour of Osborne House? Can you organize a tour on Sunday for two to Osborne House? 
Okay. Can the guests leave their luggage at the hotel until Sunday afternoon? Okay. Yes. That's fine. Yes. Johnson. No tea. That's right. Johnson. Okay. Can you bill my credit card and then they will settle later? Okay. Yes. Fine. Just a moment. What a nice surprise this will be for Harold. Oh, yes. Darling Harry. He works too hard. Mm. Well, you can both relax this weekend. It will be very romantic. Mm. <laughs> oh, Elena! Yes? I don't have anything to wear. I'll need to buy a new outfit for the weekend. Hi, how are you? Tired? I hope not, because today we are going to talk about holidays. So let's start. Today we'll study the ing form and how it can be used both as a verb and as a noun. I don't smoke. This is a no smoking class. Then we'll talk about the expression as long as. As long as you don't smoke, you can stay for dinner. Finally, we will see a short dialogue between a receptionist and a hotel guest. In this episode, Agatha is feeling low because her employer is not satisfied with her. She says, Mr. James says, I'm always shopping. She is using the ing form of the verb to shop. I like shopping, but if I say shopping is fun, it's not a verb, it's a noun. Right! In fact, the ing form of a verb can be used as a noun. We often see examples of the ing in public signs. Can you think of some of them? No parking, no smoking, no camping. Very well. You can also say smoking is forbidden and parking is not allowed. Let's move on to another subject. If you remember, in the episode, Agatha said, I don't want much as long as the hotel room has a nice view. So let's look at the expression as long as. Agatha wants a hotel as long as it has a spa. Spa means thermal bath or a hot tub or a health center. And I don't want much as long as you study hard. I'd like to conclude this lesson with a short dialogue. Dylan and I are going to spend a weekend at the Solent Star Hotel and we have just arrived. Uh, good evening, madam. May I help you? Uh, my surname is Green and I've booked a double room for two nights. Uh, let me check. Uh, here it is, a uh, one double room for two nights. Uh, can I see your passport, please? Uh, yes, of course. Here you are. Uh, thank you. All you need to do is to fill the registration card. Sure. At what time is breakfast? Breakfast is from 7 to half past 9. Uh, can we have a wake-up call at 7 o'clock? Certainly. Here's your key. Thank you. Well, I hope we are going to have a wonderful weekend. Maybe you should plan a weekend somewhere too. Bye for now and see you soon. Almost. There. Do you have everything? <laughs> Victor, what time does my train leave? Oh, here. So your ticket, it leaves at 12.35. From where? Which platform? Agatha. Remember, you need to take the underground to Waterloo. And then you'll have to look at the monitors to see on which platform the 12.35 leaves for Portsmouth. Okay? How long is the trip from Waterloo to Portsmouth? Um, it's about an hour and a half. And at Portsmouth I get off? Yes. You take the ferry to ride on the Isle of Wight. What time is the ferry? Here. 
you have an open ticket, which means you can take any of the ferries. Well, well how often do they run? There's one at uh, 1445, 1515, 1545, and 1615. Uh, they leave every 30 minutes. And how long is he? It's about a quarter of an hour. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah. And you can sightsee in Portsmouth for a while. There's the tower, the keys. The, the keys? Uh, yes, it's near the port. Oh. Oh, the keys. Yes. There are excellent restaurants and shops there, I think. Is Portsmouth a nice place? Yes, Portsmouth's a lovely town. I may go to the Keys for afternoon tea. <laughs> Harold says he'll be at the hotel at about seven. Oh, yes. I'll have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. You enjoy yourself. Oh, can I leave my luggage somewhere when I go to the Keys? I don't know. There should be a luggage room at the station or the ferry. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I hope you have a great weekend. The weather this weekend is supposed to be fine. That's fortunate. Yes, you'll be able to walk around. And what are you two doing this weekend? Oh, I'm working and I want to go to see a museum or an art gallery. Um, there's a good exhibition on at the Tate Modern. Oh. Victor, you should take Elena. Show her the sights. Um. I need to study for my final exams this weekend, Agatha. Yes, you must study. Okay, Agatha, let's get you to the station. I'm ready. I'll carry your bags for you. Okay. Bye, Elena. See you. Bye. Have a nice time. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs>, welcome back to your English lesson. In our story today, Elena is getting ready for her trip to the Isle of Wight. Oh, I love the Isle of Wight. It is so pretty. And all that lovely sea air. Would you like to go? Well, funnily enough, today we are looking at different means of transport, like the train, the airplane, and we will also look at buying tickets and asking for directions. Excuse me, what time does the train arrive? I'm waiting for my mom. She's coming to visit me. Oops, and we mustn't forget the grammar. We are going to study phrasal verbs today. Verbs followed by prepositions like get on and look out. Right. Let's look at some means of transport. We can say, what time does the train leave? The train is my favorite way to travel. So relaxing. But I also like traveling by plane or airplane because it is so fast. What time does the plane arrive? I don't like traveling by bus or coach. Too uncomfortable. How much are two coach tickets to Southampton? But I like going by ferry, being surrounded by all that water. It's wonderful. Now, imagine that we are taking the train to London. Where do you want to visit? Well, of course, we must go to Buckingham Palace. Do you know how to get there? We can ask somebody when we arrive. Uh, how do I get to Oxford Street? I simply must buy a new pair of shoes. Then we can go to the Tower of London and the British Museum. Oh, what if we take a plane to New York? What would you like to visit there? The Empire State Building? Wall Street? Oh, I know. Let's go to the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, my favorite art gallery. Okay, let's have a look at today's grammar. Phrasal verbs. Elena has to get off the train at Portsmouth. Get off is a phrasal verb meaning to leave the train. Phrasal verbs are made of a verb plus a preposition. There are thousands of them in the English language. Let's look at some more. To come in, 
means to enter, to sit down. I'm sure you've heard that one before. Come in and sit down. Then we have to try on. I want to try on that jacket. To look at. What are you looking at? To look for. Mm, I've lost my keys. Help me look for them. To look after. Can you look after my cat while I'm away? Or to look up. Look up this word in the dictionary. And to look out. Look out! There's a car coming. Useful expressions, aren't they? Well, I don't know about you, but I need a rest. Well done for working so hard. I'll see you next time. Bye!